Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm one of the CAM application specialists here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'll give you a breakdown of the fourth axis modules available from Hawkridge Systems. So what we have on screen here is a product matrix of the CAM softwares that we provide here at Hawkridge, both SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. And the fourth axis modules, basically, if you take a look at our left column here, fourth axis indexing becomes available as a function starting with SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional and all the way through all the matrices. The rotary milling is available starting with CAMWORKS Standard all the way through the, the modules there. And then the fourth axis simultaneous is an add-on starting with the CAMWORKS Milling Professional package and then actually is included in CAMWORKS Premium. So those are the packages, but what does that mean in terms of functionality? Well, to understand what all that is referring to, let's take a look at this diagram here, which shows the six motions possible in 3D space. Now in machining, we really only have at maximum maybe five of these. And in this video, we're talking about the fourth axis functionality. So what that means first is three linear motions in X, Y, and Z. And then the fourth axis is a rotation around one of those linear axes. In milling, it typically is a rotation around the x-axis. We call that the a-axis. Or in mill turn, we see it as a rotation around the z-axis, which we call the c-axis. So what we're going to see in this video is more on the milling side, but all of these apply in terms of functionality to both types of machines. So let's take a look at that on a part file. So what I have on screen here is a typical milling part. It has two and a half and sometimes three axis functionality on different faces. With your fourth axis machine, that gives you the ability to set up the part once on some sort of rotary table or rotary indexer, and then index it along that rotary axis to get access to the various faces on that part. We call that index machining, fourth axis indexial, fourth axis preposition. It has a couple of names, but it all refers to just a simple part where it rotates around one of those axes, in this case, the x-axis, and it gives me the ability to machine on all those faces in one setup. If we take a look at my part file here, I have operations acting on all the faces of the part. If I do a quick simulation here, we can see that the tool actually acts on one face, rotates it along that x-axis, and continues to act on all those faces there. If we run through all the operations, we can see that essentially the tool stays where it is. In this case, it is a, a table table machine with the rotary indexer on the table, indexing it along the x-axis, and the head just comes down and once it finishes one operation, it retracts and the, and the part, the stock in the indexer rotates around that x-axis. This is fourth axis preposition, fourth axis indexing. It is one of the ba more basic functionalities in fourth axis you can get in the CAM packages. And it actually is included starting with SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional, one of the more basic modules available from Hawkridge. In addition, because of the automatic feature recognition possible inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS, the indexed uh, features, indexed operations, can actually automatically be generated for you. Now, to get a better idea as to what that means on a machine, let's run those same operations in a machine simulation. So what I have on screen here is a fourth axis mill, or sometimes referred to as three plus one, again, X, Y, and Z with the addition of the A axis. And I have the stock sitting in my rotary indexer. I'm just gonna slow down the simulation here. And as we run through it, you'll see that in real life, the stock rotates around the X axis as the part is machined.
So that is a machine simulation of a rotary indexer on a 3 plus 1 mil showing how a 2.5 axis operation can be applied to each face. Now let's close out of this and we'll go into the next stage of fourth axis which is that rotary milling. Now I have the same part here, I'm just applying now rotary milling to it where I have added what's called a wrapped feature. What this module allows me to do is take faces on my three axis part here that have a consistent radius. If I can click on that face and it shows that it has a diameter, if it's a consistent radius along that rotary axis, then that can be a wrapped feature. You could think of a wrapped feature basically as a standard two and a half axis feature that's been wrapped around the rotary axis. So as long as it is concentric with the rotary axis and it has a consistent radius across that face, we can define it as a wrapped feature. So this is kind of the middle ground between indexing and the full fourth axis simultaneous. Now, what this would mean in terms of a mill turn machine is there is no y axis motion in this operation. The tool will come down and the part will rotate around the rotary axis, meaning that the tool does not have to move in the y direction. Now on this part here, I'm rotating around the x axis. So again, you will not see any motion other than the tool just comes down, in engages the part and rotates. If we take a look at that in a simulation, You can see the tool is engaging the part and the, the part actually rotates around that rotary axis. So typically rotary milling on a three plus one mil essentially just allows you to do a fully revolved feature. To see what that looks like, let's take a look at this again in a machine simulation. So again, as you can see, as a wrapped feature, as a rotary milling application, we're just taking the part and rotating it around that rotary axis. The final fourth axis functionality available from CamWorks is what we refer to as fourth axis simultaneous. So let's take a look at a part that is an example of that. The fourth axis simultaneous functionality is also available inside of the multi-axis mill toolpath. We've seen this before in previous demonstrations, previous videos on this YouTube channel. Here I'm locking it into the fourth axis output so we can use it on any of our fourth axis machines. So again, this could be on your fourth axis mills or your lathe with live tooling or your mill turns. Essentially what this toolpath does is it is now simultaneously moving through those four axes, X, Y, Z, and the rotary axis. To get a good idea as to what this is going to do, let's immediately go right into the machine simulation and we can see how that moves on the machine. So again, we have the rotary indexer rotating the part, rotating the stock around the X axis, and if we take a look at this in a simulation here, what we can see is that the tool moves in the X, Y, and Z along the linear directions, but also rotate the part, rotates the part as we travel along those axes. So this is fourth axis simultaneous. This is a great way to get a lot of unique, uh, complex features milled on your part. Again, whether it's on a mill or a mill turn, you have access to all four of those movements and the fourth axis simultaneous functionality allows you that capability. So depending on the type of part you need to mill, depending on the complexity of that part, each of these modules provide that functionality. If you'd like to learn more about these modules, give us a call at the phone number found on our website. 
can schedule a demo with your part to see how this applies to your part. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and watch the remaining videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.